guard is considered the toughest position to play in basketball? You know, Kevin, I think there's been a massive shift in what the point guard represents in the NBA game. I mean, how many teams over the past couple years that have won championships have played with a traditional setup guard? What we're looking at is duos that can dribble, pass, and shoot and devastate defenses. Taking a look at Los Angeles, the guard spots filled by Russell and Reed. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. And it's Hachimura in at the three, the small forward. Yeah, better than giving up the layup, you want to go in there and use the hard foul. They did it there. That's aggressive attitude defensively. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Kevin, the Raptors are rebuilding with purpose. Coach Darko Ryakovich said, we're doing a good job at the start of this process, selecting the right people that care and are very committed to each other. That's a good baseline to build on. Kevin, slowly, the pieces are falling into place. David, you're so right. He is great at developing those young players. And that one's good quickly. Quickly's got 15. And maybe he's thinking at this point, man, somebody's got to help me. I can't do this all by myself. Reeves the pass to Davis. Outside, Russell. Line to find Hachimura. Gets it to him. It's rebounded by Barrett. Raptors trail by 15. Here's Barnes. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. We love young Scotty Barnes. He can shoot, he can defend, and he can really pass. Uh, Brenny seems like the ideal wing. Well, there's a lot of things there, Kevin, that are very good. And you don't become an all-star at that position without those kind of abilities. But the responsibility of playing winning basketball consistently, let's see how that plays out for Scotty moving forward. Shooting two. First one falls for him. After a flurry of trades last season, Toronto, uh, Brent seems to be committed to build around Scotty Barnes. It does feel that way, Kevin, that Scotty is the cornerstone guy, but I, I don't know if they really feel like he is truly their number one. They're recognizing his talent, but there's still a lot of work to be done to rebuild this Toronto Raptor roster. The 2022 Rookie of the Year, Scotty Barnes, GA. Had a terrific rookie year, as we know. His second year may have fallen off a little bit. Yeah, it was a bit stagnant for Scotty, but man, he had a monster third year, making his first All Star game. The playmaking of Barnes, especially, took a leap. The third quarter has not started well, just one of four. Here's Dick. He's defended by Reed. Down to five on the shot clock. And it's quickly missing. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor. And it's all adding up. Love seeing a point guard who can explode to the rim like that. Oh, great attitude and even a better finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting it. You know, whether he's coming off the bench or Brent starting, Emmanuel quickly can score. IQ is something else. I mean, he finished second in the sixth man of the year voting in one season. He's capable of putting up 30 as a starter or as a reserve. But it's a unique perspective to sit on that bench, watch the flow of the game, and come in and be impactful. IQ does that. The first free throw is good. With every passing season, Quickly's role seems to expand. Yeah, you know, Kevin, he's had to prove himself over and over. And now that he has, I don't think you find nearly as many doubters as he had when he first came into the league. And Quickly drops them both. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. And finished off by Davis. That's a perfect lob leading to a spectacular dunk from Davis there. Threw it up on time, on target. Raptors trail by 16. 
quickly kicks to Barnes up and in on the way up. Barnes has got 11 points and obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight yeah, and the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play as he's gotten older LeBron has changed his body relying a little more on that power he's had six attempts at the line made five of them he was extremely sharp at the free throw line in their last outing Kelly Olenek's checked in for the Raptors sustained greatness of LeBron James just something when you take a step back you really marvel at we truly have been witnesses to something special third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by quickly against Russell but on the bucket quickly has got six points in the quarter and we've seen some of these nights from quickly just blowing up here offensively Russell against quickly. Outside Russell passes it to Hachimura. It's stolen by Barrett. Now the Raptors moving it up. Here's quickly. Finished off the break. Quickly's got 21. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Strong finish by Hachimura on that play. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Lakers. Nothing free about free throws. You earn your way to the line and give credit to these guys for being aggressive offensively. And I feel like another part of tonight's game has been the hustle. The hustle points, getting up and down, getting second chances, getting transition opportunities they've been fantastic in that area the free throw on from Hachimura and Rui Hachimura is one of those guys who you're assured of as putting in the work in the offseason the shot has gotten a little bit more accurate and the confidence that he plays with continues to grow and it's Davis with the jam changing ends quickly he's rewarded with a high percentage look. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down, but when he gets room like that, you gotta look out. So timeout called here, the first for the Raptors. And coach can't be happy, and, and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no resistance inside. No, they're not preventing them from scoring, and if you can get to a high efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. Let's give a look now at the 2K leaderboard to see who led the league in assists last year. Fifth on the list, LeBron James. Very few guys pass the ball better than he did. I mean, he didn't just have eyes in the back of his head. It's almost as if he had them on both sides, too. Inside. Olenek trying to break loose. Barrett, no good. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Vanderbilt the pass to Davis, and it's Davis with the jam. 
Yeah, when Davis is on like this, there's really not much you're going to be able to do about it. Get there, get there. Here's quickly. Olenek trying to break loose. Good D by James. Lakers leading by 19 points. On the wing, James. The pass to Reeves. It's rebounded by Scotty Barnes. Barnes has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Quickly. Good, and it's Barnes picking up the assist. Barnes has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. With some arc. Here's Davis. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. Davis has got 18 points. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Here's quickly. And the basket is good. This is not a player who likes to be trailing in any game. That lights a fire. He's made all three of his free throws so far. Yeah, and he wasn't someone you wanted to foul if you were defending him last season. 85% is what he made from the line. Nice and the Lakers making a change here. Vincent's checked in. A free throw drops for quickly. And one of the problems in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. It's stolen by Barrett. Pass to quickly. Over Reeves. The shot's good from quickly. Quickly's got 15 points in just the second half. And here's James. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. Pass to Vincent. Now, Vanderbilt. Six on the shot clock. From deep, James. It's good. With that basket, he's now five for nine. Just looks like he's got more feel tonight. Like he's really got a good grip on that ball as he's letting it go. Leaves against Barrett. Looking to end his cold spell. The putback. Anthony Davis grabs the miss. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be firmly in the driver's seat. Raptors trail by 17. Quickly kicks to Barrett from outside the arc. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. And it's another just bad decision on a night full of those. His shot selection tonight has been questionable at best. They shoot again, and Davis throws it down. Yeah, the added muscle Davis has put on, helping him on these tough finishes, flexing on him there. And the Raptors call time here. You have to like what we're seeing from Davis. And they simply have no answer right now for what he's doing to them. He is making them pay. Christie, he's checked in for the Lakers. Looking here at some numbers for Brown. How he performed last season. Last season chipped in 11 points per game. Four rebounds and three assists. And so much of what they do on offense depends on how he plays. Well, he attracts serious attention from the defense, and that really does open up the backside for a lot of his teammates to take full advantage. 
quickly finds Brown. The Lakers with the rebound. Davis has got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Passes it to James. Shoots over Olenek. And James gets it to go on the assist by Davis. Raptors trail by 21. Brown outside. Now the pass to Fernando. Back to Brown. Here's Abaji. Hasn't made one yet. To end the run. And quickly with the lane. Well, it feels like the other four guys have disappeared at this point. He wants to be the one to get them back. And here is Vanderbilt. He takes it in. Here's Christie. Rebound by Olenek. I'm not going to see that very often. The defense in the vicinity, but still, he's not one to blow layups. Kicks it to Brown. Fernando, the pass to Brown. 11 feet away. Misses off the left iron. Lakers leading by 19. Pass to Vincent. Trying to get open as Davis controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Just how awesome is it to watch the best of the best start to dominate in a game? Now, here's Quickly, defended by Vincent. That one falls. Well, we know Quickly can score, but there he shows off his passing ability. Pass to Christie. Here's Davis. Lakers working the ball around now. Vanderbilt finds Vincent. Pass to LeBron. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. LeBron's got 10 points now just in this quarter. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. And that one's good quickly. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Timeout called the Lakers. Both teams deciding to change it up. While we have the time, let's take a look at last season's best transition teams. Number one, the Raptors. In third, the Lakers. And you know what? These are two of those teams that just live off their transition game. They put a lot of pressure on you defensively because that's where they get the bulk of their offense. James right side. Basket number eight is all good. He's attempted 12 shots. Well, LeBron patient there, keeping the defense guessing, maybe mixing up their coverages right on the back end. Makes him very unpredictable in a pick-and-roll set. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. And the rejection by LeBron. Big-time swat LeBron James making his presence felt. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. Here's Vincent. 
And the three off target. Looks like the game plan is they're willing to give him that kind of shot. It worked out for them this time, but if they give it to him again, I, I bet three points are coming. Mitchell against Russell. Pulls up. They grab their own miss. And the shot goes in. Pirtle's got his second bucket. And so far, going for more of an inside presence here in the second half. Getting away from the three-point shot. From the high post. Wood. And Wood stays with it. Wood's got 11 points. And creating the second chance opportunity there. Wood has a nose for the ball and the length to make the play. And it's Russell with the rebound. Yeah, this has not been a good quarter right here. Shot has been off the mark, and now it looks, Kevin, like he's pressing a bit. Lays it up and banks it in. Russell's got four points in the quarter. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for the Lakers. His performance that quarter has earned him a double-double. Seems like he's been everywhere in this game. And we'll be back with you shortly. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. And Barrett has got the ball here for Toronto. They host the Kings after this game. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. In at the forward spots, we'll see Barrett and Barnes. Mitchell is out there with Grady Dick. And it's Pirtle in at the five, roaming the paint. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. And Barrett gets it to go. I'm impressed with R.J. Barrett and his body control when he's around the basket like that. Good finish. Hachimura, the pass to Russell. And the NBA helping establish academies and even leagues, Greg, on foreign soil. Do you expect more to come? I do, Kevin. I think the league recognizes it has a big role to play in the expansion of the game globally. Investments being made with the long-term view in mind. The offensive rebound. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Hurdle's frame is thin, but he is a physical big man. One who's good at getting the D to be overly aggressive inside. Shooting two. And he can't get the first one. For Jakob Pertl, his parents paved the way for him to become a professional athlete. And I'd say, Brent, they did a good job. Well, it's a good point, Kevin. They were doing some blocking of their own, just not basketballs like Jakob does. Both of his parents, members of the Austrian national volleyball teams, and building some roofs on some people trying to put down a few slams. Look around the league, there's a lot of appreciation for how well-defined Jakob Pertl's game is. He wants to rebound, block shots, and score inside. Simplistic, but effective. Feeds to Barrett. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. And that's 11 points for R.J. Barrett. Not getting old here. Seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. Hachimura, no good. Not great numbers. But great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. Gives the team such a great element, having a one guard who can get to the 10. Uh, certainly something every team wants to have. Like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. And again, no good by the Lakers. And he's trying to shoot his way out of it. You know, they have the lead, but honestly, I, I think it might help if he'd be a little bit more selective tonight. Here's Barnes. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't get the lid off. Hachimura against Barrett. Hachimura, no good. Raptors trail by 19. Now, here's Quickly. And the pass to Pirtle. Five on the clock. 
Acted quickly. A three from Barnes. Barnes with another miss. It wouldn't surprise me to see him find his touch and still be a factor. Don't count them out yet. throw good Reeves and the league trying to get a bit more competition in the all-star game Greg you got any ideas there well cash prizes seem to work well for the in-season tournament eh? even a little something might help up the ante just a bit and Anthony Davis is checked in for Los Angeles and Reeves props them both Raptors trail by 21. Quickly the pass to Purdy. Quickly looking it over. Pass to Barrett. Shoots over Hachimura. And Barrett gets it to go. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. Russell passes to Hachimura. Looking to get it going. Offensive rebound. Davis. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. That one misses for Davis. Back when you played, Greg, uh, the offseason was more of a dead period for the league. Not anymore. They, they want to make it year-round. Every month, something's going on. Kevin, I love Vegas Summer League. It, it's given us some extra hoops. It's created a ton of excitement for the future. And, and also the trades and signings. The NBA is a 12-month-a-year league. And Russell gets it to go on the assist by Reeves. 16 points for D'Angelo Russell. Toronto calls timeout. Definitely not pleased with their rebounding at the defensive end. The, the number of putbacks they've allowed has been terrible. I'm sure that's what he's going to address during this timeout. down low Barnes can't get it to go and there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period no I haven't seen him in, in comfortable spots or at least spots we've seen in this offensive set that are allowing him to settle in and one of the best big men in the game Davis continuing to prove how dominant he is
and he makes the first. And I think as fans, you always want to see the best in the league healthy. Anthony Davis out there tonight, and the NBA is just better when AD's playing. And both free throws good for Davis. Toronto's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Teardrop shot. Basket counts. Quickly's got four points in the quarter. He has definitely shown up to play. He's done his part, really just trying to battle his team back into it. Reeves the pass to Vanderbilt. Russell feeling it out a bit. Shot clock at five. Over quickly. Russell, no luck. Yeah, but the hand in the face. It's critical that you contest his shots every time down the floor. Back to Barnes. Over Vanderbilt. Barnes can't get it to go. He's been off the mark, and that hasn't helped them chip away at the lead. It's been a theme here this quarter. And there's the feed to Russell. Stolen by Quickly. Here's Dick. That one goes. Count it. Oh, good balance from Dick. Able to take the contact and still score inside. I got yours. I got yours. Now Davis. Outside Russell. Back to Davis, and Davis throws it down. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Stolen by Reeves. Hachimura with it. He's picked up by Dick. To the inside. Stolen by Quickly. Barrett the pass to Quickly. And he uses the glass on the layup. Quickly's got 38 points. Uh, with it all clicking, quickly can be dangerous, and he's showing it tonight. There's Russell with a three. It's rebounded by Barrett. Barrett's got six rebounds in the game. Quickly, it's hauled in by Los Angeles. Vanderbilt's got rebound number five here tonight. Pass to Reeves. Second chance shot, and he sinks the layup. Reeves has got 19 points. And a better box out saves them two points there. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. Well, his shooting this quarter has to be a huge concern, especially when they're behind like this. Can he find a rhythm? Here's Hachimura. He can't get that one. Nice D from Barrett. And Barrett has got the ball here for the Raptors. And it's quickly in the corner. Sinks the triple. Quickly has got 41. You've got to play better D than that because quickly is going to burn the defense, especially at that corner spot. Passes to Hachimura. Over Barrett. Pirtle with the steal. Here's Dick. He's defended by Reeves. Bounce pass Dick. Barrett finds Barnes. Shot clock at six. Here's Dick. Another shot. Pirtle's shot is off. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. Russell passes to Vanderbilt. There's the pass to Reeves. From deep three-point land. The Lakers get it back in a new 14. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. Pick coming, pick coming. Here's Barrett. And so the ball out of bounds. Davis touched it last. And the Lakers making a change here. Here's quickly. Pass to Boucher. 
And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That's what quickly wanted to go inside and create some kind of contact. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for quickly. Now really known as a microwave scorer, Quickly's fearlessness is what allows him to really get cooking. So he gets them both. Well, the defense has failed to cut off any of these driving lanes, which is why they're resorting to fouling him, and he's hurting them from the charity strike. They're coming, they're coming. Reeves with it. Here's James, and he gets it to go. James has got 14 points now in the second half. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And a little bit of length and a little bit of strength. That pays off for Scotty Barnes. Shooting two. That's good from Barnes. Now, something I think everyone notices about Scotty Barnes is that infectious enthusiasm. Guy celebrates every big play for him or his teammates. Barnes hits them both. Lakers leading by 20. James dishes to Davis. Out to the wing. Four on the shot clock. Reeve, that's a two-pointer. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Reeves has got six here in this quarter. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And the Raptors call time here. Anthony Davis really making a difference here. Well, they got to be using this timeout to think about a personnel change or a game plan change to try to slow him down. And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Anthony Davis. Yeah, and his performance has been a jaw dropper. He must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. Well, to come in here facing a hostile crowd and have a game like he's had, that's what separates the good players from the great players. Russell against Quickly. And Davis sends it back. What an impactful defensive presence. AD is outstanding at coming up with blocks. Here's Dick. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. 
Russell against quickly. LeBron outside. Pass to Hachimura. It's blocked. Well, that's RJ coming in and locked in to get the block. Over in the corner, Barnes bangs home the trifecta. Now he's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. Reeves the pass to Davis. 141 left here in the fourth quarter. Loads it up for Davis, and Davis throws it down. That's just an outstanding pick and roll there to get Davis diving to the rim. Once he gets the pass, the shot was as simple as it gets. Quickly up top, he's guarded by Russell. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for quickly. You get quickly out there, and he's a bit of a rascal, right? Offensively, he can score inside. He scores outside. He just causes some problems out there. And the Lakers making a change here. Hayes, he's checked in for Davis. Christian Wood comes in for LeBron. Christie, he's checked in for Hachimura. And it's Gabe Vincent in for Russell. He hits both from the strike. Lakers leading by 19. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for the Lakers. Starting five must have been happy to get so much help from the reserves in this game. And they not only lightened the load, the subs did nothing less than guarantee a win. And it'll mark their fourth win on the year, actually their fifth win on the year. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. And, you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Davis. And with the way he came out energized on the defensive end in particular, getting a hand on a lot of shots, that really got them rolling. Here's Reeves. And there's the drive. Chris, two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. Two shots. And that one misses. And he sinks the second. And the Raptors with the ball. They trail by 18. Brown the pass to Boucher. Here's Abaji. Defended by Christie. And that one's good, Abaji. Well, at this point, they're just trying to get back in sync. You, you want to play a good brand of basketball. The consistency definitely is a, a key to some of the playoff performing teams. And tonight, they just did not find it in this contest. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Christie the pass to Wood. And Boucher sends it back. To the paint. The layup off target. What? 
So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. And that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, LeBron. You keep taking care of business. How is your game traveling on the road? You know, we just try to have a road warrior mentality. Um, we understand when we go on the road, it's just us. Uh, the Laker faithful, they travel with us too sometimes, but we know it's just all about us and how we can play well on the road, and we've been doing that this year so far. Yeah, you kept this crowd quiet down the stretch, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. Thank you, David. And that'll do it, folks. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.